Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Camila and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone. Hey guys, I forgot to mention that I'm editing this on Final Cut Pro on a laptop. So, if the editing is a little bit like choppy or like bad, my bad, my mistake. I promise you, I'm going to get better. Okay, so to get started, I have the iPhone XR and I just have it in white. Oh, you white? Yeah. So my case is from this one account, I forgot the name, but I'll put it on the screen. Okay, so my lock screen is a picture of me and my dog and the sunset and it's a live photo and it's super cute. I love the picture. So my home screen is just a random picture I found from Pinterest and I have two pages um, and this one's my main one so on top I have batteries and then I have a picture of me and my friends that I just put onto the Widgetsmith app to put widgets and then I have my four main apps right here which are Pinterest. I use Pinterest all the time so if you're not following me on Pinterest you should definitely follow me. And then I have Snapchat. I'm not going to open my Snap because I don't want my messages to show. And then I have Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely follow me on Instagram too. And then I have TikTok. Um, I use TikTok a lot. That's why it's here. If you're not following me on TikTok, you should also follow me on TikTok. And then I have a Pinterest widget, which basically you could choose a board and it switches pictures like every hour. So I have it on the board where it switches from cat picture to cat picture. And then I have a Spotify widget and those are just songs I've listened to recently or my playlist. And then on the bottom, I have the phone app, FaceTime app, messages app and Spotify. And then on my second page, I have another Pinterest widget where it switches from picture to picture and I have that from a different board. I forgot which board though. And then up here, I have photos and camera. I'm not going to open those because I don't want my pictures to show. And then on my first folder, I have editing, which is basically iMovie, Fonto, Video Star, Pixar, CapCut, Collageable, and Symbol. Fonto, I use to edit my thumbnails to put text or something. I could just like put text like I want or like as big as I want it. And then Video Star, I just use Video Star for like borders and stuff on my video. Pixar, I use to doodle for my thumbnails like cards or like outlines. CapCut, I only have CapCut because I wanted to try it out but I don't really use it. Collageable, I've used like once. For a thumbnail symbol I believe that's for like symbols to copy and paste I don't really use that app so I don't know extra is another folder I have I just have the random like app apps that come with the iPhone like weather calculator safari settings apps or calendar calendar and then I have flow which is basically a period tracking app and then I have Google photos where it just backs up my photos and right here I have measure and voice memos and then on my other folder i have a youtube folder which has sub count youtube studio camera connect and youtube sub count it just um lets you know how many subscribers you have youtube studio gives you your analytics and everything and you can read your comments answer the comments there camera connect is for my camera i get to connect it since it's wi-fi and it just sends all the videos and pictures YouTube is obviously YouTube, um, entertainment, um, I have Twitter and Netflix, I don't really use Twitter as much, Netflix I do use, and then I have Plan, which is Notes, Reminders, Clock, and CoStar, I just named it Plan because I plan stuff here, CoStar gives you all your signs and it gives you like daily things to read and I really enjoy CoStar, and then I have School, so right here I have Google Keep, Gmail, Drive, Docs, Zoom, Mathway, Slides, and Grammarly, and Remind. I don't really use these since we're out of school now. And then I have Maps, which is Maps, Google Maps, and Find My iPhone. And then for Games, I have Subway Surfers, Roblox, Text and Drive, and Episode. Episode is low-key fun, not gonna lie. And then I have Shop, which I only have Shein and Amazon. And then I have Google because I didn't know where to put Google. 
and then I have a picture of me and my dog right there so cute I took that yesterday so I just changed it and that's basically it that's what's on my iPhone and nothing too special I don't have that many apps because my storage is always like Anyways, like I was saying, um, I'm always running out of storage, so I don't have that many apps. But if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.